So my question is that I, I guess my journey, I'm loving my life path, my journey, my unfolding. For a long time, I figured that um, everything I saw growing up was like, to really be blessed, you had to go through all this tragedy. And I had a great family, not perfect, but I never wanted for anything. And just always thought I was blessed, and so that was it for me. So in my journey through the years, I um, always felt that I was special, but I dimmed my light for others, looking for love in all the wrong places and believing that I was special because of my parents, not that they were perfect, but just because, you know, I didn't have any real issues. And so then even with my husband, I felt like, you know, we're this superpower couple. And I thought because of the joining together. So when that question came up, I was like, no, you don't need to because it's me. So in being ready to be ready, the other day coming here, I was like, every day. I can spend hours listening to the recordings because they're so soothing. So when you're like, get out there, enjoy life. We don't want you in here with Esther and Jerry. I'm like, why? It feels so good. Who wants to get out there, right? Like, you can't control all those other people. But then the other day, I'm like, oh, no. I'm, like, ready to be ready, and I'm going to miss Esther and Abraham because it's so much out there. And I know sources calling me that I just don't have all day to listen to you for like eight <laughs> hours a day. But I'm going to miss you so much, but I love you and I know you're there. And then I'm like, well, I listened to today's a good day. And that's like the most positive thing. But then I was thinking like, the other things, are those lower level? Like, have I really been like stuck in a place because even though they're soothing, the answers I'm always getting is not from like a... Well, what you're stuck in is this human belief, it's rampant on your planet, that you're climbing some rungs of a ladder, or that you're supposed to do it in some prescribed way. You're describing you weren't suffering enough to really have any big epiphanies. Are you ever shopping for something and you go into the place where they sell it and you find something that you like right away, but you think, oh, I shouldn't buy that the first thing I buy. I should suffer through a long day of shopping and <laughs> sifting and sorting because I can't expect that the universe would deliver to me the first crack out of the bag what I'm wanting. And so everything's just right, isn't it? Can you just accept that everything's just right? But I'm going to miss you so much. How is that possible? How is it possible when you've through the recordings calibrated to who we are and what we know so that now you own that you've rendezvoused with your own inner being your own inner being goes everywhere you go we go everywhere your inner being goes every thought that you think we're there so why would well, you I guess I mean I'm gonna feel sad not to be selfish to keep you from myself I mean when I do go out there I do sprinkle it around to those that want it but I really keep it in here but now I know I'm gonna really just let my light shine and share it more and did so, you hear us earlier say to you that it just keeps expanding and it just keeps evolving it just gets better and better and better and better and so we're gonna say to you what we said to Esther about Jerry don't look for us where we were look for us where we are we were on those recordings we are coming through your own processes so you're there in the good times too yeah. this is only because I found you in the bad times so to know that you're always always and I know that definitely made me feel better if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next